we'll look at some kind of different sized um, monarchs right now. So instar is just kind of a term for different stages and one instar is kind of the, the stage between a molt. So they hatch and their first instars and then they molt and then their second instars and then molt, third, molt, fo molt, fourth. And because insects have an exoskeleton, they can't grow like we do. They, they have to actually, because their skeleton's basically on the outside, they actually have to shed it off and then in order to grow it all. So that's why insects molt and we don't. We're able to actually elongate our bones. So there's five different instars and it's hard to tell them apart. It's kind of easiest to look at how wide um, their head capsule is. Here we have tiny little first and second instars. The caterpillar hatches from the egg, it eats its egg, and then it's a, a first instar at that point. At this point, when you move them, you're definitely gonna wanna just use like a paintbrush or something like that. I never try to handle them when they're this small. Um, if you can see the, the little caterpillars, or a couple little caterpillars here on the leaf. And we see we have this, this caterpillar here sitting on the side. If you see that, that could mean that they're molting. So, so these guys are you know, kind of middle-aged for caterpillars, and so they're going to molt multiple times. And oftentimes they'll just sit along the edge or on the top in order to do that. They have to stop. They kind of digest their skin a little and then fluff up that old skin. So just leave them alone during that time. You can put the leaf material back in there or leave them with something. So try to avoid handling them. Let them do what they want and just give them fresh um, leaf tissue. Here on our big container, I've got monarchs getting ready to make their chrysalis. Um, I know they are because I gave them fresh leaves this morning and they didn't need it at all and they climbed right back up to the surface. So just let your caterpillars do what they want to do. I mean, you might think, oh, you need to eat, but they, they know what they're doing. So just let them do what they do. And they're gonna sit up there probably for a day or two before they finally weave a silken pad and make that chrysalis. So that's kind of our, our biggest ones. So when the caterpillar is fully grown and ready to make its chrysalis, it'll climb up to the top of whatever container that it's in, and it will just pretty much sit quietly on the top for a few days. It'll eventually kind of, it weaves a little pad and it'll attach itself to the top and make a, a J shape, and it'll hang there as a J shape as a caterpillar. At that point, it will kind of turn funny colored because the, the green chrysalis underneath is forming. So when they look funny colored in that stage, as long as the caterpillar is still a J, um, it'll be okay and then it will molt then and you'll see that chrysalis. When it first molts, the chrysalis is really soft, so you definitely want to avoid taking the lid on or off as the caterpillars are getting ready to make their chrysalis and certainly once the chrysalis um, is new. Uh, once the chrysalises have hardened a little bit, you can definitely you know look at them and touch them, you're not going to hurt them too much, but we have a couple of large caterpillars here that are probably getting ready to make their chrysalises and then we have a couple of older ones that I haven't cleaned off. So the whole life cycle will take roughly two weeks so not very long just to go from egg to adult. Um, usually it'll be a chrysalis for um, maybe about a week. Um, towards the end it will get really dark colored and you'll be able to see the wings through the chrysalis. Also, you know, decontaminate with um, the 20% bleach. So you just want to clean it really well and then use 20% bleach as a decontamination. Um, I use the 20% bleach just to decontaminate between kind of every generation. 